Right, full time, Millwall Stoke. What a shocker. We cannot blame oh, I follow this week. I wish I follow had messed up. It would have saved me the most boring hour and a half of my life. That was a shocking performance by Millwall. Name me a good player out there. Brady Rose, a good player out there at all? Did anyone actually know what they were doing? Who they were playing the ball to? We had one shot on target all game at home against Stoke. Now, I know that the crowd's not there, and the crowd acts like a 12th man, but come on, you're having a bubble bath. That That's shocking. It has got to improve. And yet, is this the team that nearly made the playoffs last year? They wouldn't even make the playoffs in Division 2 playing like that. That is some shocking performances. They want to have a good hard look at themselves tonight, and Rowett needs to really shake them up. i tell you what, a better team up top is going to put us to the sword every week. Brighty Rose, say a few words. <laughs> um, I think we definitely missed Romeo. I yes, Miss Romeo. And I would have liked to see Troy play. Troy Parrott's another one. He's got injured. What, the Millwall curse again. He could have done something up top there, but everyone else up there, I mean, what is he doing, Daddy Levardson? I would have liked Bradshaw because I know he troubles the players. Yeah. He has pace behind yeah. him as well. Although he's quite short, he's... He's, he's a more effective player. Yeah. He's a bit faster. He would have put that, that Stoke back four under pressure. I mean, they just didn't. They just pumped the ball up and they look more dangerous and were not likely to score. They are a better side. They will finish high in the league. But Millwall has really, really got to pick their game up because that is a shocking performance. But Woods is missing. He won't be missing any other weeks. But anyone else on that pitch? I mean, where's Wallace? Wallace, what is Wallace, he on? What's he doing? He gets in great positions. He's throwing the ball shocking. Honestly, like some of the balls when he did that turn, and I was like, wait, and then he's just like, Shoots it like 20 yards above the post, like or above oh, the goal. Well, yeah. It's like that was literally, and if he had done like top bins at either side, that was going in. But he just didn't look up and think because he had, he'd had time. There was no players around him. It's, there was no, there's nowhere he had to go with it. There was no. nowhere he had to go with it. All he had to do was look up and look up. But the bottom one into Mahoney, he has got to. Yeah, that's the one chance. The great burst of pace. Wallace gets in great positions. Great player. Do not. No, I'm just make one yeah. But final decision making with the ball is shocking. But he has Crossing is shocking. And Maloney, uh, oh, this great hope, Dan, that we've got. Come on, mate. If he's our greatest, though, we are in a right bit of strife because he is not the player that will, that will create and get us out of this bother. It will be that Troy Parrott 100%. When fit. Also, but you can't rely on one player to get you the goals and get you through. Also, normally you'd see the Marlon Romeo and Jed duo. And yeah. I think that normally is the assists. How, and I think that's what Connor Mahoney and Jed, and also Jed and Leonard were trying to do. But they just don't have the chemistry that... Romeo and Jed do because Romeo and Jed are really good together. They know where they're going to be and play, and they know how to. Scott play. Malone was a good plus. I yeah, mean, I thought he played well. First, Unlucky yeah. not to get a goal, but he probably run out a bit of legs. He's getting a bit older now, but we have got to improve. We've got to get more goals. Matt Smith. Oh, Matt Smith, Sparger. Oh God, Sparger. What is it? He keeps on giving the ball away. Danny Robinson. These are. I'm going for all of our strikers. Can't. Can't even kick a ball. Then you've got Hutchison who keeps on air kicking. Then you've got Jake Cooper who is giving fouls away that doesn't need to be given away. Yeah. Then you've got Don't Ben listen. Thompson. I didn't even realise he was on the pitch half the time and I think Ben Thompson's a really good player. We need to get in, like, we need to start playing football. It's got to get better, Mill. So, to next week, let's hope we improve. Let's have a little shake up. Woods makes a difference and enjoy a barrel. Yeah. Come on. Now, come on, you liars!